Okay, this how-to video is gonna go through some of the design for manufacture rules that are available inside the Cadence PCB tools, specifically uh, some design for assembly rules that we have. So if we look at Constraint Manager, so set up constraints, we have a manufacturing workbook, and in the manufacturing workbook, there's some different sections, design for fabrication, design for assembly, design for test. So in the design for assembly, We've got effectively a rule based area under the DFA constraint set where the rule is created and then the design section where the rule will be applied. So under the outline, we've got components to outline and cutouts and paste master outline and cutouts. There's a package to package spacing section where you can drive some specific rules between components. There's a spacing section which looks at component bodies and paste masks to pins, holes, edge fingers, paste mask, etc. And then there's some specific rules for paste master pad, missing paste mask, and paste mask to other mask types. So let's go and create a couple of rules just to, to give you some examples. So we'll do the design for assembly DFA constraint set outline. Um, we'll click on new C set to create a rule. That's the default rule. I'm just going to leave it as it is. And then we're going to set a value of a, a millimeter from component to outline and a millimeter from component to cutter. We'll then go and apply that rule. So the design outline section. Um, you can actually transpose this view here to see a different uh, representation of it. I'm just going to look at the main section of the board, so my primary board, um, and I'm just going to turn on the, the rule set to look under the assembly layers. Now, the, the column headers here being yellow is an indication that the analysis mode or the DRC mode is not enabled. So you can either right click analysis mode to turn that mode on or go to analyze analysis modes, um, find the rule set that you want to and turn them on. There is a tool tip here. You look on the right hand side you'll get a, a graphical representation and a description of what each rule set does for you and then if we go back to the design and update the DRCs uh, I'm getting 52 errors here so if I actually zoom in on some of these you can see I'm getting a DRC error here if I hover over it I get the constraint value of a millimeter uh, and the actual value of 0.792 so I'm not quite I'm a little bit too close to the board edge here so Placement edit mode, and we'll just move these components out of the way, maybe just tweak them up a little bit um, to stop the DRC. Okay, that's kind of an example of the outlines. Um, I've got a cutout here, but I haven't got components too close to it. So let's just move a component too close. You'll see I get a DRC error here. Um, again, hover over the DRC, you get an indication of what the error is. So that's kind of the component outline to cutouts. Um, the next option is um, we've got some package to package spacing. So predominantly people would use the place bound shape on every every component. Normally, if you look under the geometry folder, there's this place bound bottom and place bound top layer. Um, these are this gray or brown boxes surrounding the components. And you would normally have these either touching or uh, just manually placed uh, to keep them apart. If you do overlap these, obviously you do get a DRC error to talk about the component. And there you go, you can see the actual value package to package spacing. So in some scenarios, you can now specify um, a different value to keep these apart, um, depending on the way that the component is orientated in the design. So let's go to Constraint Manager. Let's go and look at the package to package spacing. And we'll click on plus to add a new one. I then get this kind of this default option so I can specify a value. So 0.5 will be the default values. Um, I can then browse for the symbols in the design and then add all of these across and build a matrix for every single component to every single component. But obviously the large on larger designs that might not be practical. So we can it's better to use symbol classifications. So if we use the show symbol classifications button, we can create classes for these. So let's go and create a class. Um, so we'll create one called discrete. We'll create one called um, IC one called connector and we'll create one called mech for mechanical parts and there is actually a package class here mechanical parts um, so I get the classes there and then it's just a matter of moving these objects across which I can either do from a shift select and pick the the class I want to go to and move the components on one by one or I can do these individually and just bring them in so bear with me while I just move these components across So that completes effectively my, my symbol classifications. We'll click OK. And that then gives me um, different options between the different types. So 
I can have a rule set between connector and mechanical, connector and IC, connector and discrete, connector and connector. And I can obviously come in and make modifications to these. So if I wanted to maybe make the ICs to ICs a millimeter, that would be a millimeter in every single orientation. So that's side to side, end to end, side to end, and end to side. We'll then go and apply that rule. So we're going to package to package spacing, look under the primary section, and we'll pick our rule set. And then in this scenario, again, the DRC mode isn't enabled. So we'll go to analyze analysis modes, turn on the package to package spacing DRC mode. And if we close constraint manager, we'll just run the DRC update. I get a few errors. So we need to go and look at some of those component placing. So let's just zoom in here. Obviously, if I hover over here, my component to component, uh, it needs to be a millimeter and it's only spare 0.595. So I'd have to go and move these components. So I can just bring this component apart a bit to stop the DRC, not quite enough. There we go, the DRC is now cleared and I can then carry on. Um, and it's just a matter of, of, of going around and, and resolving these kind of DRC errors, but it can save you this um, placement options. A lot of these rules are here specifically for pick and place solder machines. Um, you might wanna get some shadowing if you've got smaller components next to the taller components. So that can kind of help with that type of scenario.